for the first time in industrial history, there's now five generations rubbing shoulders in the workplace, each with its own approaches, its own ways of speaking, its own way of thinking, its own way of dressing. If you're 20 or under 20 today, there's a 50-50 chance that you will live to be 105. Within six generations, the human lifespan has doubled. By 2020, there'll be seven times more network devices and people in the world. We're living through this revolution and it's transforming the way people see themselves in the world. If you're managing why, what matters most? Personal development and growth, that's what matters. They learn best from experiential learning and working together in teams. They're looking for work-life balance now, not in the future. And they will be prepared to leave to find that development. This generation, they want seamless integration across digital workspaces, leisure, home, and work. And of course, they work with you rather than for you. This is a very different approach from this generation. If you want to recruit top Generation Y talent, what is it that you have to stress? For previous generations, it was more straightforward. It was about money. For this generation, it's about the culture. It's about corporate culture. Do you treat employees fairly?